brutally dangerously cold weather is on the way, which means it's time to be thinking about our four-legged furry friends. Tonight, why not bringing them out of the cold could cost you. News 4's Austin Brissett with more details. Well, your pups have only about another day or so to enjoy some cold but still sunny weather. But later this week, that'll all change when the temperatures plummet. And city ordinance says when they do, it's time to protect your animals by bringing them inside. We have an obligation to our community to help protect animals. Oklahoma City City Ordinance states anytime it gets below 32 degrees, animals are required to be brought inside after 30 minutes or provided a shelter with some kind of heat source, like insulated dog houses, sheds, or even garages. So if, uh, if people see an animal that's out in these extreme weather, for more than 30 minutes, uh, they can call us. Officer response times may vary depending on call volume and everything being on a priority system. They plan to have at least four officers ready to respond to calls right now. When our officers show up and they ask them to bring the dog inside, they typically bring the dog inside. Right now, Superintendent of Oklahoma City Animal Welfare John Gary also says there's some conflict with state statute. Municipalities cannot call something a misdemeanor that the state considers a felony. And so we're working through that. He says this doesn't prohibit enforcement, just changes the process if a felony is committed by a dog dying or being hurt in the extreme weather. Of course, some breeds like Huskies and Great Pyrenees have thick insulated coats and can tolerate winter conditions well. But Gary says providing them shelter is still best to ensure their safety. Well, the vast majority of people want to do the right thing. Austin Bursette, Oklahoma's News 4. Gary tells us when the ordinance first passed in 2022, they got 200 calls in a day. Wow. They are hoping outreach and education on the dangers of pets being in extreme temps can mitigate that this go around. They plan to start their scheduling Friday and go through next Wednesday with the option to extend it if necessary.